Myanmar Mind College Hunter were arrested in March and tortured for several days in YGI interrogation center. During the 15 days, we were denied to access water and food for three days. We were not allowed to sleep for a week. Soldiers beat my cheekbones, shoulders, and eardrums, and my back for first two days and nights. Handa was badly treated in the first three days by his interrogator. His chest was burned with a little cigarette and kneed down for several hours, putting his leg on a chunk of ice, and his shirt and pants were taken off to attempt to rape him. Me and Handa were threatened to be killed, and there was no explanation of why we are arrested and tortured at all. After two weeks later, the military sent us back to prison. We were separated and locked into a tiny cells. They did physical and mental tortures to us. I do remember one thing that they told me I could be dead if I did not reveal my sources, especially. Minko Nai and the member of the committee representative of Bidon Sultato, CRPH. Fortunately, I, they failed to turn off my phone using my fingerprints several times because I did break my phone in my room just minutes before they enter into my office. Hand has several contests and records in his phone, but we were lucky that our Facebook account were disabled by Facebook Myanmar team. And those accounts were gone while we were in the interrogation center. The Burmese military used my testimony at the court to file four different charges against me. They used our stories and claimed that we were violated the stability of the state and the unity of the military. They were panicked file file A and B and telecommunication at 33B. And there is a one more live case. That was filed by an individual in Ni Win. It's a grandson of Ni Win. He filed it against me because the Kamayo media was reported about his social media account that has violated the community standard and threatening the public life into danger and removed by the Facebook. I was released on my 98 days of detention at the special court where police dismissed my cases all. Unfortunately, even me and Handa were facing same charges. He remained in prison. Up to date, he is in the prison for 142 days. I would like to call to journalists around the world to share his story because he is one of us. We have to tell him that he is not alone. Burmese military has clear mind that the democratic institutions are dangerous for them. They started to wipe out all of them, including media and civil society. Most of all media outlets are now in exile. The role of exile media is very important to play, especially people of Burma are facing humanitarian crisis due to the pandemic and the coup. In addition, I'm very much clear that we have to fight back for our freedom of expression and democracy. In the darkest time, Media has to share the light and take a side with humanity. And I would like to call to the international community, including the United Nations, Association of South Asian Nations, ASEAN, and neighboring countries of Burma and the people in different corners around the world to pressure the fascist Burmese military with any possible way to release all political detainees immediately. Our detainee voices must be heard and the impunity must be ended. So I would like to pay the final plea that people of Burma need a serious action against the coup and its military. Thank you.